Hi and welcome to SQL Injection Master Course. Below is my web homepage where you can access details about me, can visit my homepage and can leave your very valuable feedback that is very important to me. In this video we will again talk about something the blacklisted filters that can really make your life a little bit harder. Now let's jump on to the video series what we have got in this and again yes in this lesson we are going to set up new things a new lesson and I can expect that hey we have got so much in depth and comprehensive in this series that I hope you are enjoying this so let's go back to our SQL injection machine uh, the Linux box that we have set up the backtrack one but really doesn't matter so you should have Apache, MySQL, PHP and you can run it on any platform and since if you are a developer you can simply get on to ru running this uh, entire package onto any machine so first of all let me start a couple of services like service apache2 start oops start and please start my sql my sql as well then please move the slash root desktop the lesson file to slash war www master and take me to that path which is var master if I do a quick ls the file is here somewhere here it is the lesson 22.zip file as always I'll unzip the file lesson 22.zip uh, just a couple of files uh, like PHP file and a uh, couple of images are there nothing much in the file oops again wrong file uh, I first of all I had to travel in the lesson number 22 uh, and then I have to open this index.php file and if I travel into a bit uh, you can see there is a lot more blacklisted filter the function is being calling the blacklist function and we have also defined this blacklist function uh, so that you can see actually here is our blacklist function and you can notice here that or and is being uh, filtered out with the pre regex uh, replace that is a simple function to stripe out the and and or functions and we have stripe out the asterisk as well we have stripe out all the comments that you make like hyphen hyphen we have striped out the hashes or the pound sign as well we have striped out the spaces that is uh, you hit a spacebar key and we have also stripped out everything that uh, couldn't be in mind so in this case the SQL injection would be a real challenge but definitely we are here to solve the challenges uh, let me run my Firefox and also in the background process and really SQL injection is just about uh, playing with something you can call as database the more you will know about the database the more you are going to love it so let's go to lesson number 22 and it says lesson 22 no space no comments please and your input will also be shown here so what we can do here in this case first of all we have to give question mark id equals to one oops uh, I have done something I haven't put a question mark id equals one yeah voila it's working so the very first step is actually to put a single quote as I hit a single quote it gives me an error now some of you might get happy that hey we got an error but as if I do a minus minus or a hyphen hyphen that is query deliminator it doesn't fix it neither it is being fixed by the hyphen hyphen neither it is being fixed by hash sign or any others will not work because we have uh, just seen in the source code that it is being stripped out or you can say blacklisted so one way to filter it uh, is or quote one uh, because we have seen just here that hey it is uh, just a single quote filtration being here uh, so backslashes are also not working so let's try to hit a single quote and try to fix it with a very simple uh, or single quote one but if you remember the source code you'll notice that or is also going to filter out let's try that so as you can see input is uh, one double quotes one so these quotes are making up as a double quotes uh, quote quote you can say uh, let me try with uh, like this 
Okay, so now this time these are working. Also, uh, let me try out on something called ampersand or the end. It's not working, but we have seen in the last video I can use something else on this case, like uh, I can use percent twenty six, percent twenty six, which is a URL encode for the ampersand character. You can see now ampersand is working. So uh, things are working, but again there is a problem. And what is the problem? That if I type, uh, of course, order by one is not going to work because there is an or in order by one. So it's not going to work. It is being filtered out. You can see it's dir by one. Nothing uh, useful for us. But if I put a union all select one, two, three, four, let's say just three from our previous experience, I can say, but you can also filter it out. But all spaces are also being uh, tripped out or you can say stripped out. So again, this is not going to work for us. So what can be the solution of this problem? The solution is very simple. I'll show you the two solution when I'll show you when I'll just explain you. So you can put some random characters that are not being treated as the particular characters, but we will put their URL encoding so that they take the places of spaces and are not just being printed out. So what are those characters? One of them, the very good one is actually percent a zero. Then we have got percent a zero. I have to separate all the spaces by this percent a zero and here as well percent a zero. So if I do this now you can see it is being uh, displayed with and you can see this trivial question mark character is being displayed out. So here we can solve this but why the numbers has not been flipped up. So if I put a minus sign as well that's not also going to work because I'm not trying to understand the logic here. So logic is very simple. I have placed the end sign and for the end, uh, if the result is completely true, it's true. One of them is false, then the result is going to false. So I'll make this query as a false, this one as a true. So uh, to make it just false, I can simply place a zero here. So you can see the numbers, two, one. So uh, it's I can understand that this is quite a messy one the URL is. So let me just copy it down to somewhere else. Uh, really, it's really mess because of the person signs everywhere. So G edit. I can simply put it again. Uh, it's still a mess. Let me filter out. So this person twenty seven is single code. Person A zero is being put by us, and I hope it is quite visible now. And again, percent a zero, then all, then percent a zero, then we have got select, and again, percent twenty six is for m percent character. Percent twenty is just a space. Uh, it's nothing useful for us. So percent twenty seven again. Uh, uh, this one, the percent twenty seven is actually the single quote again. So let me come back again to my browser. The messy things are happening out here and really try to just uh, be focused what I did and it's just easy one. So how what, now the problem is actually the numbers is being seen. Now you might be saying that hey Tej we have been displayed one and a two. So let's try to verify that. Is it the same? So let me put a five here and you can say let's say seven here. Okay so seven is being replaced but one is not working. Now what is happening out there? Uh, the injection is working but not as the way we thought uh, so it's being working as simple this entire part is being uh, this entire afterward part is being taken as a true or either false so it's just displaying true so this is true but we have got one field and that's i think more than enough for us to inject into the database so we can put database and yes it's working i can simply put version uh, it's 5.1.41-3 Ubuntu 12.10. So you can simply work out in any case, but really this is a good example. Now I'll, I'll take just a couple of moments more to explain one of couple of more concepts. Suppose we have a query union all, uh, let's say just union select one comma 
2 comma 3 and let's put it uh, like this so uh, there is actually no need for you know I'll select to put spaces in between them but now you might be saying hey Tish, if I l write it like this uh, it's definitely is not going to work and of course it's not going to work so we have got uh, some different syntax that's just you might want to play with the database what you can do you can simply place these in the brackets uh, like this and then thereafter there will be no need to put the spaces yes I can understand your next question that is uh, hey Tish, what about the spaces between uh, this union and select so what you can do here is union uh, you can write the query like this so this is also going to work so this is really a nice example just play out with the database and you are going to understand it in a much better syntax much better depth so I think I have covered up quite a lot for this uh, exercise and you are going to repeat it that's all the practices uh, lessons we are going to have in the SQL injection so that's all for this video and thank you so much for watching